wondered, what would the world be like without VidIQ? If VidIQ crashed today, what is going to happen? Of note, VidIQ is a search product designed to help YouTube creators find topic and keyword to their videos. The tool also has a robust YouTube SEO feature that sets and assists creators in creating SEO friendly titles, description, and tag. In as much as VidIQ is free, it isn't completely free. There are some paid plans associated with VidIQ, and these paid plans depend on the user, organization, or financial budget. However, regardless of all this, VidIQ is so much love as it is one of the best Chrome extension because it's 100% free, gives you analytics on search volume, and its AI is one like no other. Yes, VidIQ is 100% free and it is a YouTube certified browser extension that has been developed for more than 5 years now and it has been actively used by over 2 million YouTube creators worldwide. Why is this number rising? If YouTube should take down VidIQ or if VidIQ should be shut down for just 24 hours, creators will lose millions of money. VidIQ is a YouTube certified project and the tool is used by creators all over the world. VidIQ has stood out to be a very distinct app because it comes with a lot of features that help you to track, get data and analytics of your channel. There is just one way to beat your competitors when you know what your competitors are doing. Let's take a very good look at some of VidIQ features that makes it to stand out. If you open your VidIQ, especially for premium users, even for free users as well, on the top of the screen, there are a lot of buttons, a lot of options for you to click, and VidIQ gives you the option to see related keyword, related score, and search volume for every keyword. And as a matter of fact, you're even presented with um, related score with a very broad data sheet that shows you more information about any keyword you search for with the software or with the app. Now let's break down some of its keyword metrics. Related score means the major, this measures how related a suggested keyword is to the one you just type. Search volume means how many people search for that keyword every month. Competitive score means um, how many videos are competing in YouTube for that exact phrase. And overall score, this is the number that takes into account the search volume and competition. So video analytics. The video analytics on VidIQ is far better than that of YouTube itself because you have to see your total traffic and then YouTube traffic as well. It shows you every analysis or every data you have to know. And then on a closer note, it shows you your YouTube views, your minute watch, the number of likes you got on your videos, subscribers over time, the number of YouTube comments, and even the subscribers you have lost. This is such an amazing feature. Trust me on this. It didn't just end there as well. VidIQ also gives you the best time to post. Sometimes our users might not be active when we do post and that will give us low conversion and even low views on our video. But with VidIQ, you use the exact time to post and on the exact day. Let's say Monday, the best time could be by 2 p.m. Tuesday by 1 p.m. Wednesday, not so friendly, but sometime around 1 2 p.m. could be cool. And on Thursday, it's very good for you to post between 2 3 4 p.m. This depends on channels, that means it varies. However, still, top playlists. What does VidIQ like have to do with top playlists? Your top playlist shows you the playlist users are finding more comfortable and engaging with. And VidIQ comes with this feature that lets you to know your top playlist, the number of videos in that playlist, the views they've gone, they've gotten, and the kind of engagement as per percent they're also getting. This could help you to retarget your energy into something that is more profiting, and it also shows you where your videos are coming from externally. Taking a look at VidIQ some more, it shows um your number of videos, the number of views you've got, the number of tags attached to that video and even the projected number of views. 
So Vid IQ cannot just be ignored completely because every single video you've done, the date it was being uploaded, the data is up on their database and it also helps you with your title, description and the best of tags to make your video to run organically. So you're being presented with the title you could use and even adjust a description and tags as well. Don't forget, it's not just all about tags. Tags play just a very very minimal role. Subscriber analytics gives you a rough statistics of your entire subscribers for a channel. So with your subscriber analytics, you can actually predict the number of persons you've gotten to subscribe on your channel and even the ones you've lost. More still, it also gives you a report on the number of persons that are subscribed to your channel and the number of persons that are not on the channel your visitors are going to whenever they leave yours. The only way to be the best in your game is to know what your competitors are doing and do far better than them. And you can monitor your views with your subscribers, your video views per day, the average videos you're uploading per day and that of your competitors and this will give you leverage for you to beat or outrank your competitors and you can actually boost your videos by using the best tag suggested to you by VidIQ. However, don't forget that you should also make your research on the best of tags because you might not always get the very best or the very best or the very best of it. VidIQ is just an AI and it's not that perfect to give you everything. However, it gives you so so much that you can make a lot of or you can do a lot with the little information you got from it. Just for the record, list I forget to mention, don't forget to subscribe to this video as we're going to take some look on how to create a channel and have it optimized with VidIQ. Let's take a look at setting up VidIQ on a new channel. Take note, VidIQ helps you to know what your competitors are doing so you can do that and even better to outrank them. So it's quite a process and we'll be taking a good look at it. Believing you're quite new to YouTube, I will still tell you something new or amazing about VidIQ. And of note, YouTube advises typical falls into three categories. That is the great suggestion, okay suggestion, and flat out might. And of all these might, some could actually affect your channel. How so? This of course we will see. Now there is what you have to know while you watch at the screen. Longer YouTube videos rank higher than shorter YouTube videos. This is one of the oldest mites on YouTube. But the truth is that a 1 minute video can just be as viral as a 20 minute video. The most important thing creators need to remember here is to get your point across regardless of how long you think your videos should be. You wouldn't compare a channel that is educative to a channel that is meant for entertainment. And this is where the variance in the duration of video comes in. Following the screen, you need to input your name that you desire to use for the channel. Why that is ongoing? People only click on thumbnails that have text. So when you create a channel, don't forget it's very important to have a thumbnail because thumbnail also plays a very important role in CTR, that is click-through rate. Now the process is almost done. Your channel is almost set and you are good to go. But it's very important to know that when you're creating videos, YouTube tags will help your video rank higher. It is easy to look at tags and subconsciously think of them as keyword. But YouTube has debunked this fact a lot of times. And some quote says, tags can be useful if the content of your video is commonly misspelled. Otherwise, Tag plays a minimal role in video discovery. So, your channel isn't solely dependent on your tag. Now you have a channel. What next? Next, it's important to note that just one bad video could spoil your entire video. You need to maintain the consistency so you can get recurring subscribers. Every day, over 2 million persons use this feed IQ and billions of videos are being uploaded daily. On this note, it's very important your video stands out from every other person's video. 
how so you needs to be very educative and different to get users to continue clicking your videos youtube is coming to us with more information and it's keep on saying videos that flops cannot rank higher however you don't need so much of an expensive equipment to make viral videos however your videos need to be simple and straight to the point it's very important also to get users to subscribe to your channel but try not to use clickbait because they might not return to your channel some other time. Obviously, VidIQ is so important and we can't do without it.